with another video. Today I am making salmon fried rice. I really, really, really wanted to make shrimp fried rice. Can't do that because hubby's on his way home. Therefore, I can't cook shrimp in the house because of his allergies. Um, I'm gonna keep this real short, sweet and simple. As I just said, yeah, I repeated myself, my bad. Um, but yeah, I already got everything prepared, so we're gonna get right into it. I don't know what day I'm on when it comes to the keto diet, but I'll do that in another video. Um, so let's get right into this. Um, right into it. So right here, I have some scallions. I have some chopped onions, a little bit of minced garlic. I already chopped up my salmon, so I'm gonna go ahead and season it up real quick. Um, I'm not doing too much seasoning. I'm just gonna do some black pepper. Garlic powder, although I have chopped garlic, I'm still gonna use garlic powder. I use garlic powder on almost every single thing when I have it. And then I'm gonna use some Obey. Y'all already know, it's one of my favorites. And then we're just gonna repeat on the other side. All right, so to my pan, I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil, not much. Um, just a little bit of olive oil. And then um, when I flipped over my salmon, I did not use Old Bay on the opposite side. Instead, I used some of this um, Cajun seasoning. So we're going to let this oil get hot. Right, guys, I ended up having to take an important phone call, so I burnt my grease. Oh, not really. All right, so we're just going to put the salmon in here like so. And we'll probably let them cook about two minutes on each side because they are small. I, I, I diced these up myself, but I just didn't do that on video. Um, but I did dice these up myself. So we'll just place them here. Cook them. Two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other. go ahead and take the fish out because you guys have to remember we still have to cook it a little bit more when we mix it in with our rice oh man it's okay though i'm putting it on a plate of paper towel so a plate with paper towel now that we've removed the salmon from the pan um, i'm going to leave the remaining of the oil that's in here which is not too much, that's probably just right. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter. Guys, remember that this is keto friendly. So we definitely wanna keep this in mind. And I'm not sure if I've already told you all, but today for lunch, it was early though, it was like 12 o'clock. I had um, chipotle. These are the garlic uh, garlic cloves that I chopped up. So I'm just adding these garlic cloves. And with my chipotle that I had, I did not have any rice or beans. I just basically had a chicken salad with all the toppings and stuff. And then I have me some peas and carrots. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm not gonna put that bag in my uh, pot though for sure. So I'm gonna just pour some peas and carrots. Not too many because first of all, I don't like peas, that's number one. No need to add seasoning. And I'm just gonna cook these until they get a little unthawed and then we'll add our rice. The vegetables are cooking good, or the peas and carrots are cooking good. So I'm gonna add these onions in next. I'm gonna give it another stir or two. And then we're gonna add our rice. All 
right, guys. So we're about to go ahead and add this rice. Um, you know you want to kind of do it when um and y'all already know what i'm using i'm gonna move this so y'all can see i am using cauliflower rice straight out the freezer okay. add that rice right on in there give it a good stir see that rice automatically soaks up um the remaining oil and butter so we're just gonna stir this for just a little bit. And the eye is still on, it is. Um, but once you pour this rice in here, it automatically, you know, simmers it down a little bit. And we're just gonna continuously mix like so. So everything is cooking pretty good. Y'all already know I taste it. Y'all already know. I don't double dip though, so that's the most important part. Um, but it's cooking really good. I'm gonna just put a lid on top, so that way the steam can hurry up and get these vegetables and rice done. We can add our eggs and our meat and while I'm at it. I'm gonna add just a little bit more butter because um, I want to. Like, I don't have no reason other than that. I fucking want to. I want to add more butter. So I'm gonna put that butter in there. No, the real reason is because my rice is starting to stick and I have yet to cook the eggs, but we should be good now. Toss that all around. And then we're gonna just make a little circle. We're gonna make a little house to secure the egg. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me, y'all? I've been tripping. So I put that butter right there in the middle. And I'm gonna crack one egg, get it smack in the middle, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna just let the egg cook. Now guys, you wanna make sure you use a non-stick pan for this. This pan used to be non-stick. It ain't non-stick no more, but it's, it's doing what it needs to do. I'm mad because my husband didn't even come home from work early today, so I could have really had some freaking shrimp fried rice. Could have made this with shrimp instead of salmon. He'd be lying. I told y'all this pan wasn't non-stick. All right, but now I'm gonna mix the egg up in there. And for the special ingredient. Y'all already know what the special ingredient is. I'm just gonna tell y'all. This is so ghetto. Little choice soy sauce. I don't know how much you're supposed to put in there, but y'all know my slogan. I bought that shit. And that's exactly what we're doing. I bought it. That looks like it's Oh my god, I can't wait to do this with shrimp. Next, we are going to add the salmon in which I didn't make a lot of salmon because I didn't know it was gonna turn out to be this big of a portion, but it's fine.
and the eye is off. There's no heat right now going on other than the eye cooling off. And then last but not least, I am going to top it with some green scallions. Straight like that. And here is my plate of my um, salmon fried rice. Bon appetit. Let's eat.